Yes, unfortunately he's filming, so we wouldn't be able to do it within the next month. Today's mainstream media is comprised of hundreds, if not thousands, of media companies. These media companies are engaged in the production of motion pictures, news broadcasts, TV programs, documentaries, and advertisements. As mentioned, one would think this cornucopia of media companies would be delivering a cornucopia of diverse news, entertainment, information, and ideas. After all, these media companies are peppered across the nation from coast to coast. Unfortunately, as widespread as they are, almost all of them are owned by basically six multinational corporations, what's known as conglomerates. A conglomerate involves a situation in which one corporation will own a number of other corporations in different areas of economic activity, but they would be, all be controlled by the head of the conglomerate. These conglomerates are Comcast, Disney, Sony, Time Warner, 21st Century Fox, and Viacom. So, rather than having hundreds of independent media companies across the nation, we essentially have just six. Collectively, the six conglomerates thus control almost all of the programming in the United States. Over the last uh, 50 years, there's been a tremendous consolidation of the mass media. It's gone from over 100 companies to six major companies. In the process, these companies have started to overlook major items of news, especially when it respects or has an application to their financial well-being. Shows like The History Channel, Good Morning America, Colbert Report, Face the Nation, The O'Reilly Factor, Morning Joe, Meet the Press, Fareed Zakaria, Rachel Maddow, and Barbara Walters Special are all financed, produced, and or distributed by the conglomerates. But the crowning jewel for each of the six conglomerates is their ownership of one of the six major movie studios. The term major Hollywood movie studio is a very large corporation usually, which makes a lot of motion pictures and employs a great number of people in all disciplines of the movie making process. These studios are known as the MPAA Studios, and they are Universal Studios, the Walt Disney Company, Sony Pictures, Warner Brothers, 20th Century Fox, and Paramount Pictures. There are independent studios. There are very productive studios in North Carolina, for instance. Uh, there are studios all over the country, in Arizona and whatnot, where movies are shot. But the MPAA, the big studios, are members of the Motion Picture Association, and they are primarily in Hollywood. These six Hollywood-based movie studios produce and or distribute movies watched by about 95% of the viewing public. And most of this audience is comprised of young people. If you add up that market share, it'll come close to 90% uh, on, in any given year. And then I, I suppose the major studio distributors weren't satisfied with just approaching 90%. So almost all of them either bought or created wholly owned subsidiaries that uh, engage in competing with the independents for the lower budget films, you know, things below 20 million. And if you add them all up together, you're getting up to 95% or so each year for the market share of the major studios and their wholly owned subsidiaries. At the same time, older Americans are treated to the homogenized output of just six New York-based news networks. We all know them as CBS, NBC, ABC, CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News. This is where we, the voters, get 95% of our news. Given this state of affairs, the savvy citizen may ask, how has such a small group of corporations been able to dominate the entire mainstream media? And the answer is the few have control over large quantities of money. They have control over credit. Uh, they have control over banking, money issue, as a matter of fact. And we're talking now about the banking fraternity. And if you look on the boards of directors of the great media corporations, you see an interlock with banking institutions. So money is the answer to the question. And a long time ago, they decided that to control the thinking of the population, it was necessary to take over and control the media. Let's consult some more history. 